Hi, this is Clay Stevens with Residual Income Technologies. Many people view objections as a bad thing, when in reality, they indicate that people are interested enough in your products, company, or industry to seek answers and solutions. When you have high personal effectiveness, it's generally pretty easy to overcome most people's concerns. And once you help them resolve their concerns, most people will feel comfortable and educated enough to move ahead with you. It's natural for people to have one or two concerns or objections. However, there are some people who don't really want to say no, and they might not want to hurt your feelings or damage your relationship. Leaders with high personal effectiveness stop these people when they come up with more and more objections. They stop them and ask one, this one simple question. It seems like you have a lot of concerns and questions. If I could overcome all of your objections, will you enroll in the business? Most associates feel like they need to spend time to trying to convince people to join. They think once this prospect sees the business the way that they see it, they'll want to join. But the reality is that your persistence in trying to convince them makes you look like no one else will get in your business, and so you're spending your time trying to get them in the business as your last hope for success. This does not really build confidence in them and that their family and friends will want to join the business. The odds of turning this prospect into a leader are slim to none. Convincing them is an exercise in futility. For example, once I had a friend who went to our high school prom, and there were dozens and dozens of girls waiting to be asked to dance. My friend asked a girl to dance the very first dance with him, but she said no. He spent the rest of the evening handling her objections, changing her attitude, manipulating her feelings with any cheap line he could think of. And when the last dance was playing, he was still convincing the first girl to dance. What Roy should have done was to simply move on to the next girl who would have eagerly wanted to dance with him. By the time he convinced the girl to dance, the dance was over. He missed the entire dance and all of the other girls that would have eagerly said yes. While you're busy convincing somebody to join your business, you're missing all of the good prospects that want to join your business. After all, how many people do you really need to be successful in this business? Three or four people, just like you? And this person isn't one of them. Take a hint. Move on to the next person. This business is built upon leaders, not upon people you convince to join your team. If you have to convince them to join, you'll have to convince them over and over and over again. And you simply don't have time for this if you're going to make it big. I'm Clay Stevens with Residual Income Technologies, moving you from hobby to professional by helping you master personal effectiveness skills at supersonic speed.